So I just want to quickly cover what I bring um, whenever I go surf fishing at the beach. Let's dive right in. So first for my rods, I just have a 7 foot medium power rod with uh, fast action, I believe. Um, I usually pair that with a 3000 reel, but as you can see, the reel's not on here. I'm currently cleaning that. And I also have this medium heavy rod, it's a 6 foot. I pair it with a 6000 reel. I should probably downgrade that to a 5000. Next, I have my bucket here. I do have this little waterproof seat with a cushion that swivels. It also acts as my chair, so I don't bring a chair. And then I just carry a bunch of stuff alongside these straps. This strap is basically just a backpack strap for the shoulders. And I can carry the bucket with these two straps, just like a backpack. And it really helps whenever the bucket gets heavy. Um, but it comes with this big pouch that I put this, store this little portable table on. Because you really need a portable workstation whenever you're out there fishing on the surf. It really helps. It makes your life easier. I also carry a bait knife. That's necessary. A little rod holder. And then I have this little mesh bag that I, I didn't know what to put in there. But I just threw in some gloves. Um, and then I have this little bait cup. Or sand crabs or other small baits and I also have this little shower curtain ring that I use to hold my sinkers got my sputniks and my spider weights and then this bucket holds everything that I use this is my tackle bag that I bought from Walmart for like 12 bucks but all I carry in here are simply my fishing gear or fishing terminal um i have my hard baits soft baits top waters all in this first one here and then in the middle one i have my sinkers um in the third one here i have my hooks jig heads swivels and snap swivels and then i just store a bunch of random stuff like wires and uh, sabiki rigs and then i put my fishing line on the sides here got braided mono plural and a little extra storage they use for pre-prepared rigs i have some pompano rigs in there right now but um that's my tackle bag and then i have this wade belt that i always use at all times i just have my grippers uh, fish grippers and pliers that i normally have um, helps me handle the fish and land the fish and then lastly, I just have a, a, little, a small little cast net in there to catch some bait fish whenever I need. Uh, but I'm always using all these items and it all fits inside this five gallon bucket. So works really well. Normally, people just use a, a cart. A good beach cart will run you about $300. This is what I'd like to consider minimal. And it's what I use, so hopefully it can inspire you to go out there and build your own kind of fishing gear setup, um, especially when you go to surf fish. Um, let me show you how this table looks. So this is how it looks like whenever I'm out there fishing on the surf. Having a little portable um, table out. It's about 12 by 12, maybe a little bit bigger. It holds all my tackle whenever I'm out there. Because um, you don't really want to just leave your stuff out on the, the sand and salt water because it can really corrode your terminal tackle. But yeah, it does a job. This is all I carry to the beach. So this is what it'll look like whenever I go surf fishing. All I have is my rods and everything fits inside my bucket, including my wading belt. But I'm wearing that to show you how that looks like. All it is is just my fish grips. And my pliers right now, but generally I'll attach my snippers um, and also maybe a bait knife. But everything fits inside of my bucket, so it's really easy to just throw everything into the bucket and move to a new location if I don't like where I'm at. Oof. 